The, the amount of cheese isn't terribly important as long as you've got around about that amount. So just eyeball it and see how it goes. You can always taste the sauce and add more cheese as you go. Okay, get yourself a medium sized pan and you want to get in just a drizzle of oil into the bottom of that. Just a little bit. And then in goes your butter. Swirl it around. And you want to melt that but you don't want it to burn. So swirl it around and back on the heat and into that you want a tablespoon or just less of flour like that and then you stir it in and get a nice turn on it and then you'll notice the flour starts to brown ever so quickly so into that you need to get some milk so what to do I poured in the best part of half a pint of milk into that and then stir that in the other thing you'll need is a whisk because pretty soon we're going to switch over to a whisk so keep that stirring and as the milk comes up to heat it starts to thicken and it can go fairly fast so the stirring is important at this stage so what I like to do now is switch over to a whisk and turn the heat down right down to about one third of your heat range I'm turning my switch down to two. I'm going to add a little more milk. Once it starts bubbling up like that, you can add milk. And then you want to get your sauce, your roux sauce, which is what this now is, to the consistency you desire for your cheese sauce. And you can do that by adding more milk to it. So you add your milk. A decent glug at a time but then as you come to thick, thin it out you add more right into that it's really simple goes your cheese so into go, into that goes your grated cheese and you stir until all that turns into a delicious thick sauce You'll notice the action, I'm stirring, scrubbing, stirring and scrubbing. I want to get all that in so I've got a nice smooth sauce and we end up with a, I like my sauce quite kind of thick. So I'm going to take that off the heat for a sec. And I'll give it a taste. for a little bit longer give it another taste mm. as you taste it the flour in it is a little bit grainy to start with and that's when you realize you've got to cook it for a little bit longer so allow it come to a really slow simmer and then just keep stirring and scrubbing yeah I know it's a bit of work but it's worth it trust me we'll 
bubbling up nicely. What I want to do now is just do a last taste test because I think it's done. Let's have a taste. Mm, oh, that's lovely, smooth. Right, I'm going to set that to one side. And if you're going to leave it for any time, you need to cover that so it doesn't form too much of a skin. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.